Hey YouTube, and we're back with another video. And this is our second video, so I hope you enjoy it. But today we're going to be learning how to use Mod Loader version 1.5.1 for Ace of Spades 0 0.75 fixed. Okay, so first of all, you're going to have to go to this link, and I'll have it in the description below. And you're going to see this video that sucks. That's why I'm making this video because, it, you know, it's it's updated. Um, and then after this video, you're going to see a little this download button. You're gonna click on it. It's getting hard, isn't it? Gosh, it's advanced skills. Click on that. Click download. It'll be in a zip file. And if you're, if you don't have WinRAR, that's okay. But um, I recommend you getting WinRAR anyway. You don't have to, but you can just get the zip file. But eh, WinRAR is better. But you don't have to have it. I'm just saying WinRAR is good. And if you want it, just go to Google and type in WinRAR. So. Okay, so since we just downloaded, which pretend we did, you're going to extract it to somewhere. I don't care where. Uh, your desktop, your documents. I got mine extracted in my documents. We're going to click Mod Loader Install. You're going to open it up. Or we don't. No, here it is. Alright. And we'll have this. And it'll probably already be up. And it'll say Browse for Folder. Mine's in. You just browse where your Ace of Spades is installed and click on the Ace of Spades folder. Usually it's already clicked for you, unless you have it in some weird place, but I have mine on my local C drive, and it just does it for me. Then just click OK on which folder it's in, and then click Install, and then click Go. It'll install it for you. If it says version's outdated, you just need to uninstall Ace of Spades and install it back. Okay, so now you got that all that stuff done. You're going to go ahead and open up your documents. I've already got one opened up. Go to your local C drive and open up Ace of Spades. Now just put minimize that. You don't need it for right now. I just you just need to do it now. Cause no. <laughs> okay. So right here on your desktop, you're gonna make a new folder. So just right click new folder. And then in the folder, you're gonna add all the stuff that you want in your mod. So I have um, Gaming for the Winds 12 uh, mod pack. He's like really good at build and shoot. Me and him are pretty good friends. But anyway. He gave me his mod pack, so I have it here. This is like the rifle uh, model, the rifle scope, the rifle reload, and the rifle shoot sounds. And that's, uh, you know. And you'll just put all your stuff in there that you want. Um, you can do multiple weapons, it doesn't really matter. You can do anything. Um, and you can change all these in in game. That's the big deal of this, you know, of this program anyway. So say you already got all this done, make sure you name it something that you can remember what's on it so I mean mine gave me for the win 12 so I know what it is and then you're going to drag it this is why I um, told you to open up your Ace of Spades folder go to your mod loader folder now this will already be made if your mod loader actually worked if it done it right and you'll have this mod loader thing down here and all this but okay so just go open up your mod loader folder drag your mod pack folder in and there you go it's it's on there now what we're going to do is just open up base of spades and I want to show you for real so make sure it's in the mod loader folder not in any other folder make sure it's in the mod loader folder you know I had the mod loader folder and you just need to try installing it again because it didn't work okay so after you do that now you can have multiple packs I need to tell you that first you can make another folder and have other stuff in it too but we don't want to because we don't have another mod pack to put in there but okay now, we're going to click, go to our build and shoot launcher, I have one anyway, and we'll go ahead and, I got that one there, but who cares, and we're going to go ahead and go to a little server down here at the bottom that nobody's on. What would we do with that, Aloha P PK? Okay, let's go ahead and open up, just join a random team, and let's, what you're going to do is you're just going to click insert on your keyboard. Alright, so you're going to get this menu. And I know this is bad quality for you because I've already looked. But over here in the upper right corner, you're going to see something called mods. You're going to click on the gaming for the win mod. Did you see just how my gun changed? Okay, that's good. Now, just click the escape button. Well, I'm kind of being glitchy right now because I'm recording, but you're just going to hit the escape button, you'll be out of it, and you'll have that mod pack loaded. All your skins will be on there and everything. Okay. Now, that was kind of glitchy because my recording software kind of glitched out on it and stuff, but okay. 
So that's pretty much how you do it. I mean, that's all it is. Um, you can add other packs, change them in game. Um, it won't do like mine did. Mine just kind of glitched out like that. But yours won't if you're not recording. But um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Please like. Um, please just subscribe. I need some more subscribers on the channel. Go check out my gaming channel. It's a lot of stuff. One, two, three. Go check out gaming for the win 12 and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you liked the tutorial and i hope it helped you out and see you guys later bye